had sex in the office of Domino's while a customer waited for their pizza to finish, it finished at the same time I did. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? What up simps, it's you boy Andrew, here to narrate another story time. Since you're already here, go ahead and make me proud by hitting like and subscribing. Because if you don't, I'll show your friend the amount of money you spend simping for e-thoughts. Hope you did that, let's get to the stories. Got a BJ from my ex while having a conversation with her mom. No, but this cougar colleague that was visiting for a conference invited me up to her hotel room. Was back at my desk an hour later wondering what the hell just happened. I keep the key to a dick lock. The lock is on a man I've never met, and he sends me hundreds of dollars every month to make fun of him via text. Went to a BDSM-themed night at a club. I enjoy being submissive so I went with my BF at the time as my dom. It was a lot of fun and the biggest turn on ever. We went all out collar leash etc had some fantastic sex that night. Location sex. Lots of unique locations situations. From outdoor public places and vacation spots to restaurants, office etc. But kinky in the bedroom? Probably just some basic role play, toys, and mild bondage. All sensual or hot stuff. Nothing ridiculous like MR Beyblade's comment there. It's not necessarily the kinkiest per se, but when my husband and I first started dating, we made a sex Sunday. He got out the chocolate syrup and then would lick a little off. I'd put some whipped cream on him, and vice versa. At one point we were full on squeezing the bottle of chocolate syrup all over each other, rubbing it in while doing it. The sheets looked like someone crapped the bed after lol. When I was younger, I dated a girl who was on the kinky side. She popped in a rope of anal beads, and when she was close to cooming, she told me to pull them out. Not knowing what to do, I just gave them a yank. Not how you're supposed to do it. The butthole slamming shut 10 times in less than a second makes a hell of a sound. Sounded like stepping on bubble wrap. Had a girl bite my dick once. It wasn't just using a little too much teeth to spice it up. She full on bit me and drew blood. On purpose. I got mad and kicked her out and she didn't understand why. Couple weeks later after it had healed I invited her back over Loki, hoping she'd do it again, but she didn't do it again. I engage in contractual near total power exchange. To think, a few years ago I didn't think of myself as particularly kinky, had been pegged once or twice, ad played with cuffs, then I started hooking up with a really inexperienced woman, who was very submissive, and things slowly shifted. We explored her likes. Rope play, restraint, submission, biting, spanking. Then it escalated. CNC, harnesses. Anyway, it has now been a few years of long distance 24-7 dom sub, we visit when we can. So I guess the kinkiest thing is a lifestyle one. Edit. CNC equals consensual non-consent, that is rape play. <laughs> Having sex with a co-worker while hiding in a bathroom at a nightclub. The club was open during the day, but closed for one hour to then reopen as a nightclub, me and my co-worker didn't want to pay the entrance fee, so we hid in a VIP bathroom and had sex. The club reopened, we went down and rejoined our other colleagues who had been queuing for an hour. Worth it. Took a female co-worker to meet up with a couple very into DS. We listened to him warm her up with slaps of spanking and a crapload of talk, and then he brought her out for us. We licked every inch of this woman's body while she held a quarter against the wall with her nose. Fingered her, ate her pussy, ate her ass, left her soaked and dying with anticipation. Made her orally service all of us, then my friend ducked her with a strap on, I ate her pussy, ate my friend's pussy until she came, ducked my friend's face until I blew down her throat. After that, I ducked the woman, the guy ducked her, we just had fun. We left her exhausted and ducked out. The next day we met up to talk about it, and the guy looked at me and my girlfriend and just said you two are filthy people. <laughs> Went skinny dipping in a river and had sex in the water, at 1030 am, 200 yards from and in full view of a very busy highway. We had just gotten back to shore and got our clothes on when a minivan with a family of small kids pulled up. I often think what would we have done if they had pulled up one min earlier, I guess waited out in the water till they left, and we could fetch our clothes. 
This isn't the kinkiest, but one that comes to mind and don't mind telling. Also one ex-girlfriend really wanted to have a threesome with her sister, they laid in my bed and played sucked on each other's boobs, but I had been up for 7 days and pussed out due to the weirdness. A to the honorable mention of getting a handy jammer under the table at a bar by a girl I had met an hour earlier. Met a woman online who wanted a FWB. We hit it off chatting, but she was afraid that since I was shorter than her, she would have a hard time being attracted to me. I suggested that we have sex before we meet which lead to the most intense sex I've ever had. Basically, this woman I had never met before went to a hotel room, got naked, and blindfolded herself while waiting for me to arrive. When I got there I walked into a room where a woman I had never seen before was naked and masturbating while waiting for me to have sex with her. It was probably the most taboo and kinky thing I have ever done, and I crave doing it again. I had sex on research chemicals similar to acid, and when she touched my arm it was like an orgasm in my arm like strong. That was fun. Edit. To add, if you get a chance to take LSD with a lover, FWB, whatever do your thing, and then spend the come down listening to music in bed. Hold each other, talk about everything, and listen to a playlist of classical, beach house, clams casino, anything ambient. It will be one of the greatest moments of your life. Claire de Lune has never been the same since, from a different time. Edit 2. Also explosions in the sky, burial, deer hunter, glass animals, foxygen, effects twin, peggy goo, botany, the cure. He came to visit me at school one day to drop off lunch, and I gave him an unofficial tour. It led to me showing him the theater where I spent a lot of time because of my performing arts classes and drama club meeting. In the back of the theater there were these stairs that led up to an old bell tower that was no longer in use, so we snuck up there and found a few things that we decided to play with. There was one of those big spools in the middle, and he pushed it so it laid on its side and draped me over it, and used my legs as a way to make the spool roll back and forth, while he ducked me in the bell tower. It wasn't my kinkiest adventure, but it was one of my more exciting ones. On a trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, ended up going for a late night hike with the girl I was into and some friends to a hot springs in a canyon. It was a dark with awesome stars out, and the springs were pretty small, so only two could fit in each one. Well the girl I was digging on and I strip naked and get in the same pool and start to relax into the night. The second pool with my other friends were right next to us, so an easy natural conversation and joint sharing took place. Very pleasant night. The pool I was in was small, so the girl and I had to position our bodies facing each other with our legs kind of entangled. Well I'm not sure how it started, but I started playfully tickling her inner thigh with my foot, while continuing the conversation with friends. The girl was quiet though, and even with the dark I could feel her staring intently at me. I started to get rock hard. Because the whole situation was getting pretty sexy. This went on for a few minutes with me tickling her inner thigh and her staring quietly. Then things changed. She quickly grabbed my foot and guided it to sweet spot and pressed it hard against her vagina. She held my foot there as she slowly and quietly started grinding herself against it. I struggled to keep coherent and continue the conversation with my friends that were only a few feet from us. Then again things ramped up. She moved from grinding against my foot to placing my toes against her clam. I started to wiggle then a bit thinking that was what she wanted, but instead she listed her hips a bit, changed the angle, and started to slide the tops of my toes into her vagina. Holy crap! I almost lost it when I felt her tight vagina around my toes, somehow it felt wetter than the water we were in. She went with at this point, remaining quiet up top, but under the water she was trying to push my foot into herself. She made it to my arch literally half my foot was inside her. At this point I got quiet since I couldn't fathom the situation, and then she stopped thrusting as well I felt her vagina tighten and her legs spasm, her breathing stopped I swear this why on for minutes until her cunt let go of my foot and she slide my toes out. She had coom, I had blue balls, my friends didn't know, and I felt dizzy from horniness. But the stars were still beautiful and we got it and started our home back out. So basically I foot ducked my friend in a hot springs only a few feet from other friends, while high as duck in New Mexico. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? 
let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.